Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and today we have a massive amount of Modern Warfare 2 news and information to go over. We're not talking about the campaign. I'm as annoyed as you guys that virtually every creator is just uploading 30-minute videos of the campaign, just flooding our sub boxes, making it hard to find actual content. Well, it's actually the campaign, which is the reason why we have all this information, because players who have early access to the campaign on console can connect a keyboard into their console, press F6 on the keyboard in the main menu, and they can access loadouts as well as the firing range within Modern Warfare 2 and as a result we can see all the maps that are going to be in the game we can see all the weapon camos we can see a number of attachments as well as a bunch of other really interesting information which we will be covering here in this video here today so first things first the mastery camos have leaked now we actually have four total mastery camos we saw gold in the campaign but we have gold camo this is going to be the platinum camo which is kind of like Infinity Ward's version of diamond and then we have this camo right here which is going to be kind of like the dark matter equivalent now apparently it actually looks much better than just the screenshot itself shows but yeah the camo itself looks pretty fantastic at least in my own personal opinion there's also going to be a space themed camo as well i'm not too sure how that's going to work but yeah these are going to be the mastery camos within modern warfare 2 the screenshots are kind of low res but they do look pretty good in my opinion now this is something i was unaware of i read this over on charlie intel and i'm telling you guys if charlie intel were to tell me the sky was pink and water was dry then I'd believe him because Charlie Intel is one of the most credible sources on the internet and they say that Infinity Ward said to expect quote reduced repetitiveness and reasonable challenges to unlock attachments and camouflage so that's something I didn't hear before. We did get to leak some rumors previously that showed that the camo challenges in Modern Warfare 2 were going to be stupid, man. We're talking mounted kills, crouching kills, long shots with like SMGs and guns that have no purpose doing long shots, you know. Well, apparently those may just be placeholders. We don't know what the exact challenges are going to be. We're going to have to wait until the full launch on October 28th. But apparently the challenges are going to be reworked and we have a number of pretty awesome looking camos in the game. We have the return of Spectrum. We also have a new kind of weapon camo category called just like full color I believe something similar to that and as you can see some might call this lazy right it's gonna be an entire weapon camo category but I think this looks pretty good honestly like it just here's an orange camo right and they have the black accents to it and then like here's a green camo here's a blue camo here's a pink camo you know, I kind of think that looks pretty good I'm not gonna lie we'll have to wait and see what the other camos are going to be like but I read somewhere it was like 181 total different kinds of camos in this game so that's pretty ridiculous obviously I'm gonna be trying for the dark matter equivalent in the game but having all these other camos in the game as well is pretty awesome if you ask me now you may be noticing in these camo screenshots that we're at the firing range and the firing range oh my god it's terrible <laughs> oh no so the firing range was supposed to be kind of like we had back in the day they're hoping it's going to be something like we saw during call of Duty mobile they're hoping it's going to be something that we see in games like even world of warcraft with target dummies where you can go up to like a, an ai soldier you know shoot them in the leg and the uh, numbers will pop up and tell you how much damage you're doing at that range and then you know they take damage multipliers into effect and you can really test out your attachments and see exactly Exactly how your weapon performs with different attachments well the firing range is just awful there's like three little AI soldiers that you shoot they fall over they get back up there's no numbers that pop up there's no in-depth stats or anything like that so it looks like unless this gets changed that exclusive ace and J God are still gonna be the go-to sources for how the weapons actually perform because as we know what we see in game for the COD franchise is rarely accurate and there's also usually a bunch of random ass quirks like that foregrip back in modern warfare 20 2019 that for some reason made you run faster you know that kind of stuff is just not going to be able to be tested in this firing range it's not a good firing range i hope it's a placeholder i hope this is like an early rendition of it and they have a much better one prepared for launch but as of right now based on what we've seen the firing range looks terrible now one thing that does look pretty good marina bay grand prix it's going to be coming back as you guys know this map got infinity ward and activision in some trouble with formula one and 
and they removed this trailer, which you guys were seeing right here. They removed all mention of the Marina Bay Grand Prix multiplayer map from all of their social media and all of their channels. Well, thanks to the people that just plugged the keyboard into their console and were able to access this stuff, the map will be returning as Crown Raceway, and it doesn't really look like they changed the whole lot. It seems like they just changed the name and called it good, which I'm happy for, personally. I think the map looks fantastic, and I would love to actually play on it. The people that got flown out early to play the game early, everyone said that that map was freaking great, and they really enjoyed it. And it was supposed to be part of the beta, to my understanding, but they had to get rid of it. So, I think it looks good. I'm happy it's coming back. And speaking of things that are coming back, this is some wishful thinking. All right, do not take this as fact. This is just pure wishful thinking on my part. But people are not only able to access, you know, credit class and things like that, but because of that, they can see stickers and weapon charms and things like that. So here we see stickers for... So here we see stickers for Christmas, Valentine's Day, and St. Patrick's Day. Now, the optimist within me, which I'm sure most of you are like, what, Nero, an optimist? Makes no sense. But the optimist within me is hoping this means the return of something like Operation Winter Siege, Shamrock and Awe, the Valentine's Day event. Was there a name for that? I actually don't remember. Uh, Days of Summer, you know, things like that. Things that we used to have back in the day. Things that started off during Modern Warfare Remastered and Call of Duty World War II, and then for some reason just fell by the wayside and became shop bundles. Now, the pessimists within me, which I'm sure most of you are much more aware of, I would say that it's possible that these are just things that are going to be in shop bundles around the holidays. I hope that's not true, man. I really hope it's not true. Call of Duty events were so fun, dude. I used to love them. Back in Modern Warfare Remastered, when we got Shamrock and Awe, and they took one of the worst maps in the game, Downpour, and made it an amazing map by just changing how it looked in the form of Daybreak. That was so cool. And then earning the specific uh, camos you could do in that game. I remember they gave us Winter Crash, and for doing challenges on Winter Crash, you got Christmas-themed camos, like gift wrap and things like that. Days of Summer had the same thing. Call of Duty World War II followed suit and they updated the headquarters every time there was a new update like that was cool man I want that stuff back and since we see these stickers it's possible they may be returning but I'm not gonna hold my breath man it just I've been burned far too many times by the Call of Duty franchise now checking out the game modes here you guys know that in the blog post recently they said we're gonna have 10 standard modes at launch and here you go team deathmatch prisoner rescue domination search and destroy headquarters the return of headquarters Free for all, hard point, kill confirmed, my personal favorite, control. I love control. They have that with Black Ops 4. That's actually a really great game mode. And then, of course, knockout, which we saw back during the beta. I would say, just as, as a quick, like, personal thing here, like, when they added kill confirmed in Modern Warfare 3, I thought that was a fantastic idea. It was such a good game mode. I don't know how we got by without it. And now kill confirmed is like a standard, you know, mode in the COD franchise. I felt the same thing about control. You know, they add new game modes every single year. A lot of them don't stick, but for me personally, I love Control. I think it's a very fun game mode, and I'm happy to see that's going to be in the game here right from launch. I mean, it's basically like a... It's kind of like Demolition with less spawn trapping, I would say, is what Control is. And that's coming from someone who loved Demolition way back in the day. It was such a fun game mode. But uh, yeah, guys, in general, there you guys have it. I mean, we got lots of information here. We got all the multiplayer maps that are going to be in the game. Uh, we can list them off right here on your screen. But without properly seeing them all, it's kind of hard just to show what they all are. But, you know, there's going to be 11 standard maps at launch, apparently, according to what we have right here. Then, of course, you have the battle maps, which we saw during the beta for the invasion game mode and the ground war style game modes those are going to be there as well we don't know what post launch content is going to be like we do know that some fan favorite maps are going to be returning for season one when the game comes out on October 28th that is going to be the preseason and then call it three weeks after that on November 16th that's when season one is going to begin new maps are going to drop a couple new guns are going to drop we have 51 total weapons in the game at launch and then more guns are coming with season one and honestly all this sounds pretty pretty fantastic man it is the call of duty cycle you know people get hyped up right before the launch of the game and yes there's still a number of problems that we have with the game that are, are going to be carrying over from the beta the footsteps the mini map dead silence and things like that but the beta itself was still fun to play it was not it, it's not what i wanted out of a cod game necessarily because they're changing up a number of core things that kind of in my opinion make cod cod but based on what we see here man like 181 different camo patterns the possible return of events and things like that 
that. The firing range definitely needs to be updated for sure, but the return of fan favorite game modes, and there's just lots of information in here, and I'm hoping that the launch is a proper launch and that we don't feel underwhelmed once we finally have access to all the content and we're actually able to start leveling up. Like, we know prestige mode's not returning. That's going to be a problem. We don't know too much yet about the challenge system, whether or not there's going to be 100% or how progression is going to work. I do have a bit more hope in my heart after reading that Infinity Ward apparently said that there was going to be reduced repetitiveness and reasonable challenges to unlock attachments and camos this year. So we'll have to wait and see. But as always, guys, I'll be here with you every step of the way as we learn more and as the story develops and as we get closer to the full launch of Modern Warfare 2. But for right now, that's all for this video here today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments and i hope you guys all have a wonderful day